here today, we're going to be talking about my favorite jump, the axle. But before we get into things, we're going to start off with a little history lesson. Back in 1882, Axel Poulsen of Åsa, Norway, was the first person to ever perform the jump, which is why it's named after the guy. This jump is unique because it is the only jump to take off a forward outside edge and land backwards, giving the entire jump an extra half rotation. This is why the axle is one of the more difficult jumps to learn. So before you go to the rink and start practicing a million axles to get it clean and consistent, it is really important to understand and know what you're doing, which is why I'm going to break it down for you. First, let's take a look at some double axles and standard speed. Since this is a double, you can see that I am completing two and a half rotations in the air. Now we're going to slow it down to understand what's happening. We're going to focus on the three main parts. The takeoff, the air position, and the landing. The first thing that I'm going to point out is that everything during the takeoff will be working together. As you can see, my arms and legs will be going back, through, and in simultaneously. Taking a closer look, you will notice that my takeoff leg will be going towards the inside of the circle, while the rest of my body will be going out. This is to initiate rotation and to help me transfer my weight over to my landing side. If I were to do the opposite and allow my free side to swing towards the inside of the circle, it would throw the entire jump off its axis. Watch out for this because it's a very common mistake. The final point I'd like to make about the takeoff is that many skaters performing double and triple axles will often use a skid. This is the sharpest and most efficient way to vault the skater up into the air, allowing the longest airtime possible. Moving on to the air position, thankfully this is a lot more simple. As you will notice, my ankles and my arms are positioned right over my landing side with my right leg extended, ready for the landing. During the landing, as soon as the skater makes contact with the ice, the judges will be looking to see whether or not the skater has landed completely backwards. The skater's job is to make sure the free leg goes up and back nice and aggressively. This jump is absolutely essential to learn because skaters early as pre-juvenile are required to perform a single axle. As the skater reaches a junior and senior level, they are then required to perform a double axle. If not executed, then the skater will receive an invalid element resulting in zero points. After watching this, I hope you guys will be doing single, double, and triple axles in no time. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you.